Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Confident and I hope you're having a lovely week. So I was working on a browser extension both for Chrome and Firefox and stumbled upon a problem so I thought to make this video to show you guys how to fix it. And that involves loading remote scripts using manifest v3 in browser extensions. Like it's, it's, it's a nightmare. So I'm working on this project. It's called send to kindle and what it does is it allows you to send web articles and blog content to your kindle device to read later it's open source and this is the github repository and it requires extensions both a firefox extension and a chrome extension on the firefox side of things things are actually rosy right because i can go open up the code and load it up as an extension so let's go to about debugging and go to Firefox, load temporary add-on. I have the entire source code in a folder called public, and I can go open this up. So let's select the index HTML. And you can see that this has been loaded. So let's go in to take a look at this. This is the extension. Oh, it seems it's already pinned to the top. So that is the extension and it works fine on Firefox. But on Chrome, Manifest V3 has a lot of limitations. So let's go open up Chrome. This is Chrome. I'm just going to do the exact same thing you saw earlier. Manage extensions, turn on developer mode. You want to load unpacked. This is the exact same public folder. And if I go to load this up, it loads quite all right. But now let's try to make use of this. So let's pin this to the top and open this up. And you see that we have errors. It's able to open up, but we have errors. And if you take a look at the errors we have here, these are errors related to loading remote resources because on the source code so uh, this is my source code go to take a look at the index.html file i am loading a remote script from plausible and loading one more remote script from github for the uh, github star button you saw earlier so if this is going to be an, in an extension this is not going to work because i'm having these errors and i just can't load those remote resources so how do you go about fixing it I googled for a couple of these and I saw snippets to add um, a content security setting on your manifest v3 to enable certain domains. That did not work. Like I saw a lot of comments on Stack Overflow saying if you do that, it's going to work. It doesn't work on manifest v3, at least not anymore. And I tried chat GPT in the problem, right? Because we have chat GPT. ChatGPT wasn't able to provide a good solution. But something I stumbled upon is a situation whereby those remote scripts are downloaded into the project folder and loaded locally. Like that works fine without any problems. So what I did is I created a script that allows you to do that automatically. And the script also has a lot of other cool features. So you can take a look at this script and use it for your project if you're building Chrome extensions. So let's go back up and take a look at this script. It's called extensions.sh. And what it does is exactly what I told you. You give it an array of the remote scripts you are loading in your extension. In this case, I'm loading Possible and the GitHub button script. And you also have to tell it what file name to save this script as when it's downloaded. In this case, I just want this to be called Possible.js and this is going to be called Button.js. And what, what this um, script is going to do, the shell script, is going to go ahead to download the files. So this is an array, right? You can add more items into the array if you have more scripts. And after downloading it and saving it into the project folder, it is also going to go in to replace those links to the relative links in the index.html file. So you have a situation where all of your remote scripts are included in the extension bundle and you don't have to be blocked by this problem of content security policy on Chrome. So let's go run this script, right? So let's run this script. And uh, here I'm in the product folder. So let's clear the screen. And I want to run the extension.sh script. And like I told you, it's going to download all of the remote scripts I'm using in my extension, put them in a folder, and it's also going to do something nice. It's going to create a zip, which makes it easy for you to submit your extension when you need to create an update. So let's go in to take a look at what has been done. So now if I go back, so let's go back and remove this extension, and let's load unpacked. Um, you notice we have a new folder called extensions, and of course it also creates a zip uh, folder in case you want to use that. That is all you want to use. You want to use the extensions folder. And you can see this loads quite all right. Now, if we go to use this, you can see that it opens up without any issue and we don't have any errors because 
all of the remote resources we're using in our extension has been downloaded and placed locally within a project. So that is the script. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below to the script. By the way, this script is in the um, project I showed you earlier I was working on. This is the extensions.sh script. So you can take it out and use it for whatever project you're working on. And this is going to build your extensions for you. All right, so I just wanted to make a quick video showing you this solution in case you run into the problem of using remote scripts with Manifest V3 on Chrome extensions, and this is how you go about solving it. All right, don't forget to get subscribed so you don't miss any cool video coming out on the channel, and I'm going to catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.